Many gay Africans face persecution, assault and alienation. In some African countries, same-sex relationships are even criminalized. The view that gay relationships are un-African is a widely held view across the continent. But in South Africa, where one of the most liberal constitutions in the world was born 16 years ago, gay rights are not only being recognized here, they are being proudly upheld. Revelers, floats, fabulous costumes and good times. The Joburg Pride Parade is all about being loud and proud. South Africa's lesbian, gay, bisexual and transgender community has come together to celebrate their sexuality. It is quite cool because we get to celebrate the heroes like Sam and Koli, what they did for us. Um, to be able to live freely and not compromise our rights as gay people. I'm here proud because I'm a lesbian and it's an important event to me because everybody showed their sexuality and they've only got one day. And other than that, everybody just discriminates against us. The 2010 parade sees Joburg Pride come of age as it turns 21. It is Africa's largest and oldest gay and lesbian event. The best thing about Pride for me, funny enough, is not that I'm with people of the same sexual preference, but that I'm with people of my country. Black, white, Indian, colored. We are all African is this year's motto. And it's not only the gay community that joins in the Pride festivities. They're people like everybody else. They shouldn't be discriminated against because they're gay or lesbian. South Africa's come very far. Us gay people, we, we're getting there. We're doing a good job. And um, yeah, the support that we're getting from some straight people here is quite fabulous. Much of Africa still has a long way to go in respecting and accepting the gay community. Across the continent, many gay people still face misunderstanding and prejudice. Joburg Pride is a reminder that all human beings have the right to be respected and the responsibility to respect. Poppy and Putin, E News, Johannesburg.